What is up you guys? My name is Spencer and welcome to FT Real M. I know today is not my day. I am sorry. I've been super busy this entire month and I'm going to continue to be busy so hopefully I can figure out a way to uh, do this in a timely manner so I can post on my days. But if not, bear with me. I'm trying to work it out on my schedule and everything. So this week is a free week. We get to make a topic that we would like to talk about. So I'm going to talk about the idea of being done with transition. Now, though I am very much at the beginning of my transition, I'm not even a year on T yet, there is this idea that is starting to slowly creep into my life about how transition, or about being done with transition. Now, obviously, I still want top surgery, I still want a histo, and I still want to stay on T, but it's gotten to the point where since I, I blend in 100% of the time, that I almost forget to take my shot. Now, I haven't yet to miss a shot, but there has definitely been some days when I've been like, huh, today is Tuesday and my shot is on Saturday. Mm, I probably should give myself one. I don't think that's a bad thing, but it's also of wondering what that's going to be like when I finish my histo and I finish my, um, and I get my top surgery. There is this study, I don't know if it's credible or not, I can't even link it because I'm not sure where it is, but I read it on Tumblr, which take everything with a grain of salt, but there's a study that showed trans men become more depressed after they say their transition is completed. And I'm wondering if that's true. I'm looking at myself and I realize just how much time and energy and strength I put into my transition, just how aware I am of my transition, and that's just by being 11 months or close to 11 months on T. If everything's done, there would be so much more time, energy, and strength just free in my life. Now, I feel like I'm the type of person to redirect that and to go with something else that I've been wanting to do, but I can see how some people may just not know what there is left to do. As trans individuals, we spend so much time and effort in trying to be the person that we always already knew we were, and trying to either one, get the legal documents changed, get the medical document or get the medical side rolling, you know, friends and family being accepting, names, everything else that really wears a lot on us. It really does put a lot of stress and strain on us. So when all of that is lifted, when the family has come around, when society sees you at whatever gender you want to be seen as, when your legal documents reflect the name that you've always wanted them to, when your body looks the way you always wanted to, when all that is said and done, where are, what is there to do next? Do we ever say that we stop transitioning? that we have finished? Is there ever a destination that we're trying to meet? Or is there more things internally, externally, advocacy, etc., that we would take up to fill that time? I don't know. It's just been an interesting topic and I've always just wondered where it would take me and the end of um, my medical and legal transition. So let me know in the comments what you feel about that, or if you've already finished, or you feel like you finished your transition, how that how that life has been afterwards. Um, again, I'm sorry for being late, and I'm sorry for not posting as often as I should. It's been very crazy, and hopefully I'll have everything together to where this won't be a problem anymore. It is Wednesday. It is Spencer. Thanks for sticking around. Until next time.